You won't have a stroke. You understand? Yes. Huh? You won't have a stroke. Yes. You won't have a stroke. Yes. You won't have a stroke. Yes. You see what is happening there? The fire has entered there. I've prayed for you right now. Mm. You won't have a stroke. Yes. You won't have a stroke. Yes. Two, you won't have a stroke. Yes. Three. You won't have a stroke. Yeah. You won't have a stroke yeah. four. Yeah. You won't have a stroke yeah. five. You won't have a stroke six. Yeah. You won't have a stroke six. Yeah. seven. Uh, one, okay. You won't have a stroke. Yeah. Jesus name. Yeah. Test yourself. Test yourself. Do like this. Do you feel pain? No. Eh? No. No pain. No pain. This pain you never feel it again. You can go. Amen. Amen. Yes, even here there was a pain. Eh? Even in my breast there was like there was this, a pain something. like something was pissing. That there was a lamp or something. Yeah, so it, it, it will never happen again. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. My name is Sheila Maluleke. I come from Guyani. I came here to Cherries because I was feeling sick. My whole body was sick. Every part of my body was not feeling well. I was sick. So the man of God prayed for me today and I'm delivered, I'm free. And he even prophesied, he even asked me about the lady that I stayed with some years ago, like eight, I can say eight years or ten years ago, who took care of me while I was at high school. He said I must, I must go back to her and apologize and take good care of her again. Because she, she, looked, she looked after me for a long time and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. And he also talked about my, uh, my attacks at work because of the promotion that I got. He said people didn't like it. He prayed for me, delivered me. And he also talked about the pains that I, I, I was having here in my abdomen. And the, the, the blood that was always coming nonstop. He delivered me from it. And I'm free today. And the man of God asked me where I was staying before I went to uh, where I'm working now. So I told him I was staying around uh, Tembisa. He said, when I got there because I, w I, got, I went there because of promotion, people didn't like me. They didn't want me to, to, have, uh, to have been promoted. They wanted someone there to be promoted. That's why I started becoming sick too much. I, 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 even, I even stopped going to church because I, I, I lost hope. Because it was like, I, if, I forgot, he even told me that it was like a stroke that was coming from my head and my, 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 uh, through my spinal cord. So I couldn't even go to church. I couldn't even do anything. Like everything to me was heavy because I, 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 I lost strength because of that, that sickness. Now I'm feeling, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling free. I'm free. I'm free. The time I came to church, I was not free at all. I was not free. I was feeling pain everywhere in my body. Now I can't even turn my head. I can't even bend. I can't even do anything because now I'm free. Hi, Cheris TV viewers. If you are out there and you are facing uh, sickness challenges or different challenges, you can come to Cheris. You can receive your healing. You will receive your healing here. Yeah. I also receive mine. You'll receive your deliverance here. Yeah. I received mine. You'll go home a different person.